Israel's image across Europe is in jeopardy, and we need to do something about it. Well, that's the message from participants of a year-long seminar for Jewish activists designed to inspire and to equip them with techniques to better explain Israel's position around the world. IBA special correspondent Leah Zinder has that story. Hi, my name is Ben. I'm um, a lawyer in London. I specialize in criminal law. I'm from Vienna, Austria. I studied political science. I'm working in a real estate company. I'm the birthright tag lead coordinator for Central and Eastern Europe. They came from across Europe for five intensive seminars over the past year. Their goal, to acquire the tools necessary to improve Israel's image, which is under unprecedented attack in some parts of the world. I cannot overestimate how, how bad it is. The masses of the people um, are completely against Israel, uh, and they're not interested in the facts. Um, and unfortunately, the media in this country, they do not report the news objectively. They report the news with their own spin on it. And invariably, almost inevitably, it is a, a bias against Israel. My name is Edith. I'm from Sweden. The participants in their 20s and early 30s pledged to take time out from their studies and new professional careers to launch a new project. I feel like I need to step up and to, to make my voice heard, to, re to present the Israel I know from trips, from studying there for a year, to, to bring that to the table and to, to show a different aspect that they do not get out of the news. The battle for the hearts and minds of their peers is a difficult one in the current climate in Europe. But over the past summer, a new development in Israel has given energy and impetus to these young Israel advocates. <laughs> It was the mass social protest, mostly by young people, that swept the country's cities with a familiar cry, the people demand social justice. What's happened in, in, in the, the north of Africa was, was remarkable, but what, ha what has happened in Israel, um, you know, the, those people uh, crying, this is, this is also, I mean, qu quite astonishing. Uh, to, to have revolutions happening in well, totalitarian regimes is very nice, but to have them happening in democracies is even more astonishing. The Israel Connect European Young Leadership Program concluded with an informal ceremony at the home of Harvey Rose, chairman of the Zionist Federation of Great Britain and Ireland. It was the Zionist Federation, along with the European Jewish Congress, that sponsored the program. We as as activists in this group are spreading our energy and our motivation to other activists. And we are lowering the apparent threshold to activism by just saying, if you dedicate 15 minutes a week on commenting on a newspaper article or sending a letter to a member of European Parliament, you are already an activist and you're already involved. These are representatives um, from across Europe and the, the, the program itself is designed for them to integrate with, e with each other, not just on this program, but in the years ahead. And I'm very optimistic um, that they will stay together, they will do global uh, programs together, and that they will benefit each other in the best way of, of promoting uh, the truth about Israel. The singing of Hatikva marked the end of the course. The young leaders have now returned to their own countries, determined to make a difference. Leah Zinder for IBA News, London.